everyone, so today's declutter is my MAC lipstick, so um, I have a whole lot here, I actually have more in my purse, um, but I'm just going to leave those there because obviously, you know, I like them and they're kind of there for a reason. These ones over in this corner, um, some of these are not MAC obviously, some of them are MAC in here, um, like these ones are actually MAC ones and then all of these ones, there's a couple over there, but yeah, there's some others as well, so I'm not sure if I'll go through these in this video. We'll see how we go with just all of the MAC lipsticks because as you can see there are a ton that there are some floating around um yeah most of mine have a little clear cap on them so I can see the colors um so I'll link where I got those down below if I can find them um and then any that I am going to declutter if they are donatable you know I'm going to take off the cap and replace it with just the normal caps and then any that are like kind of well used I'll probably just give to my friends because they won't care and then if there are any really old ones of course those go straight in the bin if they are expired or just have a weird texture or a weird smell or anything like that so that's what's happening today I'm hoping to color this down quite a lot we'll see what happens I do find myself neglecting my MAC lipsticks quite a lot because there are just so many to choose from just like all of my lipsticks which is why I'm gonna go through them all but there's just so many in here that I never want to go into the drawer because it's too intimidating and there's too many choices and I don't know what to pick so I always go with the, the same colors. So I really need to color it down a little bit and yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna start all the way over the side. So you can see in the past I've kind of like um, organized them into like darky colors here and then nudes and then they go up to reds and stuff over on this side over here. Um, I'm going to start with all the ones with the clear lids and then go through the ones that are brand new or the ones with the black lids afterwards. So I really don't know how I'm going to do this. Like, so many of the colors look really similar. So I guess I'm gonna swatch, actually. Let me get some baby wipes ready and my face halo so that we can remove the swatches so I can swatch them for you. Okay, so the first shade we have here is a matte called Deep Love. Oh, these lids get tight sometimes. So this one's brand new. I'm swatching them on my hands so even if I donate them, obviously they can just sterilize them. Oh, that is a nice brown, okay. I'm gonna just take out all of these buxom lipsticks and place these just next to me on the ground. So they can kind of organize the ones that I'm like, uh, you know, and like figure out what I'm gonna keep. Okay, so he is a maybe. I'm gonna compare the other shades. Okay, so this one here is a glaze shiitake. I'm actually going to donate that one as is because I can already tell I'm not gonna really love that shade. I'll show it to you close up so you can kind of see what it is. It's like a frosted brownish color it's just not something I would reach for at all next up we have amplified tribalist this looks like it was part of a Christmas collection and it's brand new once again so if we compare I definitely like this shade better this one's more of like a purpley kind of undertone and it is a lot creamier obviously it's a really beautiful shade but I'm just not as in love with it as that first one, which again is called Deep Love. That is such a nice color. Okay, let's try. This is a sample. So it means I got sent it from MAC. That's why it doesn't have the proper label on the bottom. This is the Fall 2014. Oh, is this one of the, was it Rihanna lipsticks? I'm going to donate that. Again, it's not my kind of color. Okay, we've got a, is that Ariana Grande? Okay, we've got Viva Glam Ariana Grande, which is a matte. Let's compare it to these colors here. Okay, this one's a lot more purple. That reminds me so much of my lipstick by EXO Beauty in Wabi Sabi. It's so, so similar. So I think I'll donate that, even though it is a stunning shade, obviously, like I love that color. Next up, I have Runner, which is a matte. Oh my gosh, this looks so nice. This looks like a deep red kind of color. So hard for you guys to see the true color through the camera. So hopefully the swatches are helping. Oh yes, that is a deep muted red. Look at that. Need. You can stay right there. Okay, next up we have Boyfriend Stella, which is a creme sheen. This is a muted kind of purple color. All of these colors are going to look very similar through the camera. Oh, it's kind of patchy. I'm going to get rid of that one. I feel like I would like it a lot more if it was like a matte. I'm actually going to put the camera so it's coming in from above because I think the lighting might be better. Let's try it. Okay, I've actually changed the entire direction of the camera. So hopefully you can see those colors better now. So that very top one is that first brown I swatched, which is called Deep Love. So we can see those colors, so I've donated most of those. Next up we have this shade here called Sin. So I think I actually have Sin in not limited edition packaging. Yep, I sure do. So I've got Sin here. I'm going to swatch the one that's not limited edition because it has already been used. 
I love that color so I'm gonna keep that it's a little bit deeper than that other red I'm keeping which again that other red is called runner so I'm keeping these two reddish shades and then I will donate the limited edition one okay I'm just kind of grabbing out a bunch of the colors that look way darker this shade here is called smoked purple I used to love this color back in the day I must have a couple of them because this one's unused Either that or I repurchased it because I lost it or something. So here's what smoked purple looks like. It's just like a deep purple color. Um, I might actually donate it. I just don't think I'll really reach for it that often. I need to be semi cut through here because there are so many colors. Next up we have Cyber, which used to be one of my favorites back in the day. Um, this one's well used. So that'll probably go more in like the friends pile. That's what it looks like. I don't think I'm going to keep that either. Okay, we've got Quell Surprise. And this is a lighter purple color. It's a creamy finish. Mm, it kind of reminds me of Rebel, except a little bit more pink. Might get rid of that one. We have the Gambatista, I think, Valley. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. This is in the shade Eugene. It's a matte. Ugh. Oh, I really like that. That's more of like a purpley version of some of those redder colors I have kept. I just love that finish as well. That's beautiful. Next up, I have Diva Antex. Okay, this looks like a deep kind of red also. Oh, it's very similar to the other color. You know what? I think I prefer this one. So I'm going to keep this one and then donate Eugene. I have Dark Side. Oh, that's so pretty. Um... It's very similar to that other colour, isn't it? But it's a lot more muted. I might keep that. Why not? Actually, let me just keep Dark Side. And then I'll donate Diva Antics. Because to be completely fair... Oh my gosh, these all look the same in the tubes. But they look so different on my skin. But look at that. They look the exact same. Anyway, to be fair, um, I need to be more cutthroat with these really dark shades. Because I don't reach for the super dark shades as often as like pinks and nudes and oranges and things. So... Um, this is definitely one area I need to be very hard on. Alright, so heaps of these ones are more like deep reds and things. This one here is a metallic called Silver Spoon. Oh gosh, that is such a cool colour, but when am I ever, ever, ever going to use something like that? I'm going to put that aside. Actually, you know what? My hairdresser will love that for her competition photos. Okay, we've got Matte Diva. I can't remember if I already swatched Diva. I feel like it sounds familiar. This might happen. Like, I've got a few double ups, I'm pretty sure. So I might end up talking about the same one a couple of times by accident. Um, that color is beautiful. I don't know if I already decluttered one or not, but I want to keep it. Okay, next we have Rouge. Salon Rouge, sorry. This is another sample. I think this was a Christmas color. And that is a really pinky, pinky red. So I'm going to keep that for now. I'm just going to isolate him just here. We have Hoax. Ugh, these lids are really tight sometimes. Um, this is an Amplified. What does this look like? Okay, I'm going to donate that one. I don't like it as much as the other one. We have Royally Righteous, which is an Amplified. Oh, this one's all melted. <laughs> Oh, that's like a brown nude. I love it. I'm going to keep it. We have a cream sheen heavy petting. Oh, that's a very like kind of buildable kind of color. Sorry, I don't know if you saw me apply that, but um, I really like it. It's quite unique, but I don't know if I'll reach for it. So maybe I'll donate that one. This is a brighter red, Ruby Woo, which I love. So I don't even need to swatch that right now. I'm just going to keep it. Plus, I might have one that I've already used in here somewhere, so I just want to keep it fresh, just in case. This is Cardinal. This is a satin. Oh, this looks pretty. This is like a deep red. Oh, it's like an orangey red. I love it. And it's very different to those other reds, so that can stay. And then we have Russian red, which is another favorite of mine. I'll swatch it for you just so you can see it, because this one is used already. And that's kind of like a more vibrant version of the last color, so I'm going to keep it. This one here is called D for Danger. This is a like deep pink. Oh, that's so nice. Is this? It looks matte. It's got a sample label, so I don't know what finish it is. It looks pretty matte to me though. And it's again different to those other ones, which is good. Next up we have Photo, which is a satin. This looks like a brownish kind of color. I need to clean my hand one second. Kind of looks like a muted. Ooh, not sure about the finish, but I love the color. That can go in the maybe pile as well. I'm putting my maybe ones down here now. Cause I'm running out of room. Okay, this is another red, and this is in the shade Charlotte. It's a matte. And that is just a really bright 
bra red story. I keep going out of camera. Oh my gosh, such a fail. I just want to see how that compares to Ruby Woo. So this is Ruby Woo now. You know what? I prefer it to Ruby Woo. So Ruby Woo can go. Now I'm just going to compare it to um, Cardinal quickly. Okay, so that's Cardinal at the top. I'm going to get rid of Cardinal as well because, yeah, I prefer that Charlotte shade. Now we have the Spring 2014... Um, I think Rihanna color. This is another shimmery shade from what I can see. I'm just going to donate that. Hopefully it's still okay because it hasn't been used at all. So I wouldn't know. I don't want to swatch it. Okay, we've got this Viva Glam Tariji P. Henson 2 is what it says on here. Oh, that's melted AF. I'm going to just give that away. They might be able to depot it or something. So that's heaps of those ones from this lower corner. So out of all of those, I've kept nine. And I have donated slash got rid of 18. So that's not bad. Okay, now I'm going to pick around the reds and purples and everything from this end just here. So I'm not sure if you can see, but I've got some purpley kind of colors down in this back corner. Um, I'm going to start with, wait, what's this one? Fashion Revival, which is a matte, just because this is like a deeper purple. Um, I'm going to donate that. I have a really dark purple right here called Pure Heroin, which I'm just going to donate. This color here is Rebel, so I'm going to keep Rebel. It's a really nice, kind of similar to that last color, to be honest. Like, very similar, so I'm glad I didn't keep that one. Rebel is this one here. It's like a purpley, pinkish kind of color. It's really fun. Now I'm going to swatch Pink Poodle, which is a glaze formula. So it's like a sheer, obviously, with glaze being the keyword. I'm going to donate that. I'm not a big fan of that color. We have Up the Amp, which is another kind of purplish shade. Oh, I love that. I'm going to keep that one. It's like a nice muted purple. Quite wearable, to be honest, for a purple. And then we've got this Amplified in Violetta, which I think I'm going to donate. It's just a little bit brighter than that previous shade. It's this one just here, and it's got a more, like, metallic-y, kind of creamy finish. So that can be donated. Next up, I have the shade Heroin, which is matte, and this is a really dark purple. Oh, it's not actually as dark when you put it on your hand. I'm going to keep... No. I'm going to donate it because I like the other one better still. And then I have Flat Up Fabulous, which is a retro matte. And I love this color. I feel like I've got another one somewhere. I do. So I've got the sample. So this one's brand new. I'm going to donate the brand new one. I'll show you what this looks like. It's a beautiful, like, purplish pink. It's way more pink than purple, though, if you compare it to the other shades. But, oh, I love that color. It's so nice. Okay, so now... Um... What else? We've got Heavenly Hybrid, which is a luster. My hand's getting a little bit stained, which is not ideal. It's a beautiful color, but I'm going to donate that one. I don't think I really need it. Holy crap, you guys. I'm doing so freaking well. <laughs> so well. I've got 12 now so far. Okay, moving along. Next up, I have Girl About Town, which is another kind of bright pink. That's Girl About Town right there. I actually really like that shade. It's a really nice kind of warmish undertone. It's actually a really flattering pink for something that's like a bright pink, if you know what I mean. If you compare it to Flat Out Fabulous, Flat Out Fabulous, of course, is matte, um, whereas Girl About Town is more creamy, and Flat Out Fabulous looks a little bit more purplish, but still being a pink. I'm just going to swatch this. This is Lilac, which is from the Kelly Osborne collection that's a bloody beautiful color <laughs> i'm gonna keep it why not and then we have a glaze called pervet this looks quite shimmery let me do it so you can see oh you can barely even see that color it's like nothing i'm just gonna donate that i'm gonna donate salon rouge which i was still indecisive about in the beginning because i've kept quite a few other reds um and we're just about to go through more reds now. Actually, let me swatch it just to make sure. Okay, so I am pulling back the color called Salon Rouge from um, when I was doing the other side. Just because this is one of the ones I was indecisive about. And we are now going to go into some more reds. So that's that one there swatched. Okay, now I'm going to swatch Barbecue, which is a matte. It's this shade just here. This looks like a really nice bright orangey red. Kind of reminds me of Morange by MAC, which is one of my favorites. Next, we've got the Fall 2015 Viva Glam. This looks like another orangey kind of red. Oh my god. Okay, I like that even better than the last one. It's a little bit brighter. So, gonna keep that one and donate Barbecue. Next up, we have Satin Toxic Tail. Oh my gosh, this looks nice. 
keeping that so compared to the color above it as you can hopefully see it's a little bit more peachier it's got ever so slightly a little bit more pinky kind of undertones to it than at the other ones but it's definitely still an orangey peachy color that is such a nice color you guys oh my god I love it. Okay, then we have Lady Danger, which is another favorite, but let's compare it to these shades. Okay, so it's a little bit darker. You know what? I might donate that because we're going to have too many orangey reds soon. Then we have Matte Dangerous, which is another one. Um, I'm going to donate that. It kind of looks the same, right? Like it's not that much different. Beautiful color though. I love orangey reds. That's why I created Limerence for EXO Beauty because I just love colors like this. So next is Cream Sheen Pretty Boy. That's a lot creamy. I'm going to donate that one because it's a very similar color to the one I love. This one, I can't remember what it's called, but it's a lot more sheer. So I might as well just skip on that one. Next we have Dreaming Dahlia. So it's more of a like sheer kind of formula too. I actually really love that for something that's a little bit more sheer and wearable. It's a really beautiful light orangey color so I'm gonna keep that next up we have Vegas Fall oh my gosh this is one of my favorites too wait I'm sure I have another one of these I wouldn't have a clue where it is okay I love that color that's it right there keeping it like I said I'm gonna end up with too many oranges you know what I'm gonna donate Dreaming Dahlia because I've got some other lipsticks there specifically like sheer colors and I think I've got one similar to that anyway but let's be honest I've probably got shades similar to all of these okay I ended up just swatching oranges so that was irrelevant, but we'll do it again soon. So this one here is called True Red. It's the Pedro Lorenco collection. Okay, it looks just like all the others. Time to get cut through. Next we've got Neon Orange, which is an Amplified. Okay, I'm going to keep that. Just because that is a much more orangey undertone than any of those other ones I kept. Although, let me just compare it quickly to Morange, which is one of my favorite oranges. Okay, I'm just going to keep Morange because Morange is a little bit more orange again. And then we have So Chord, which is a matte. This one's like more muted by the looks of it. That's what it looks like just there. Do I love it? I do love it. It's kind of like a terracotta orange color. Like it's halfway between a muted terracotta and halfway between a bright orange. Okay, time to clean off my hand. I should have really started with the nudes so my hands didn't get so stained, but oh well. So again, I'm swatching the red that I'm contemplating keeping. It's a very pinkish red. Okay, now we have Opera. Sorry if the music's really loud in the background, by the way. I feel like I've got another color like that one. And then we have this Amplified in Ruby, which is a beautiful creamy red, like true red color. I don't think I need it. I love it though, but I don't think I need it. Then we have Steam Heat, which is a satin. And that is a lighter kind of red. I'm going to keep that one. I really like that one. Then we have Cockney, which is a luster. This one looks like it's kind of developed little bubbles of pigment around the outside of it. I don't know if you can see. I have no idea if you can see it, but um, it seems to apply fine. It's just a luster, like a kind of semi-sheer formula. I'm going to get rid of it. We have Sparks of Romance, which is a matte. Oh, it's pretty, but I don't think I need it. It's that top one just there. Then we have Victoriana. Ooh, that's a very pure true red also. I don't think I need it. <laughs> and then that's a hot pink. Is there any other reds? We have the MAC Riri Woo. Mm, I'm going to donate it. Love the packaging though. We have true red. So many reds. They're all just starting to look the same. That's a very bright true red. I'm going to keep that because I love bright reds. And then I'm going to donate Steam Heat, which is that one. Because I feel like they're very similar. That one and that one. So donate one of those. Okay, the next one is Five Alarm, which is a luster. I don't think I really like lusters that much. So I'm just going to get rid of it. And then we have a Matte in Chili. This looks so nice. Yes. I love that color. It's right there. I feel like another one that I've kept is quite similar though. Let me just check. I'm just going to compare it to the one I kept called Royally Righteous. Or Riotous. No, that's different again. Look. So they're both very different. I'm going to keep both. Okay, let's move into some of these bright pinks. So first here I have Flower Scope, which is a cream sheen. I'm going to donate that. I just don't really reach for colors like that really. Like it's... It's like a bright pink. I don't know. I kept another one that was kind of similar. This one is completely 
destroyed. This was Kelly Yum Yum. Do you remember how nuts everyone went for this? And mine just completely melted. Like, I don't know if you can see in there, like, <laughs> so sad. So that's probably rubbish. This one here is called Yield to Love and it's a cream sheen. Oh, I really like that color. It's a really nice muted, um, like, yeah, dull pink. Next up is Show Orchid, which is an amplified. This is quite a popular shade. I'm gonna get rid of that. It's kind of metallic. Don't really go for that. Next up is another Show Orchid. And then we have Matte Embrace Me, which is a very similar color, just a little bit more muted and more matte. Um, I'm gonna donate it. Next we have a blaze, which is a matte. Oh, this is actually kind of like an orange. Oh, it's so pretty. Do I need it? Yep. It's kind of like a pinkier orange, if that makes any sense at all. Next up we have Viva Glam Miley Cyrus. Mm, it's a beautiful color, but I might donate. Next is Toxic Tail, which is a satin. This is another like orangey-ish color. Did I already keep Toxic Tail? Yes, I did. I've already kept Toxic Tail, so that was a fail. Um, so yeah, love that one. I looked at that color, I was like, that looks very familiar. Like, I feel like I've swatched that already. Okay, next up we've got Amplified Make Me Gorgeous. Which is very similar to Toxic Tail. Except I like it a tiny bit more, I think. Do I? Yes. I'm gonna keep that instead of Toxic Tail. Keeping that. Alright, what else is in here? We've got some more reddish colors over here. So this one is Deverish. Beautiful, beautiful deep pink, but I'm gonna um, donate that one because I don't really wear very many deep pinks and I've already got so many, so I don't know. This one's Ruby Woo, which is definitely another like favorite. This is a red. You can tell I've used this one, but I might actually, should I get rid of it? Mm, yeah, I'm gonna donate that. We've also got Relentlessly Red, which is a retro matte. Oh, it's like a muted red, I love it. I'm keeping it. Then we have Tats. <laughs> oh, that's a really pretty color. Do I want it? Mm, I'm gonna donate it. I can't decide really, but if I don't like immediately think, yes, keep it, then I should probably just get rid of it. Pleasure Bomb. This is a re recolor by the looks of it. It's a pinky red. I'm gonna get rid of it. I've got too many reds. <laughs> um, and then this one here is all fired up. I feel like I already swatched that, did I? I can't remember, but too many reds, too many reds, too many reds. This is Stunner, which is another red. Nah, no, don't need it. <laughs> okay, some more bright pinks. This one is No Faux Pas. Is that how you say that? I don't know. And that is a deep pink. I'm gonna donate. Next is called it Be Silly, which is a very similar color, just a little bit more cool toned, which I'm gonna get rid of. And then we have Happy Go Lucky, which is an amplified formula. Hopefully you can see these swatches. I'm gonna keep that one, just cause it's a really fun, bright Barbie pink, and I haven't really kept one of those yet. Next up we have Pink Pearl Pop, which is a creme sheen. These are all the colors that I used to live for. That one's so sheer. Has it gone off? It smells fine, just looks very sheer. Although it is a cream sheen, but I thought it was a little bit more pigment, I don't know. I'm just gonna donate that and they can do what they wish with it. <laughs> I always figure that, they can throw it away if it's no good. Um, next is Impassioned, which is another one that used to be my favorite, oh my gosh. I still love that color. Um, yeah, I might keep it. Next is Silly, which is a matte. Mm, gonna get rid of that one. And then we have Candy Yum Yum, which you all know. Candy Yum Yum is just a really hot, bright pink. Might as well keep it. It's just kind of like one of those staple colors that will always come in handy from time to time for a party or something like that. Um, next up we have Star Magnolia, which is another creme sheen. Um, I'm gonna donate it. And then we have Pink Nouveau, or however you pronounce that. I don't know, I used to love this one too, which is like a muted pinkish purplish color. I'm gonna keep it. I love anything muted. Like, I just love muted colors. Next we have Lip Blossom, which is a luster. I'm gonna donate that. I'm just gonna get rid of most of my sheer MAC lipsticks because I've got other sheer lipsticks I like. This one is the Viva Glam Nikki. Love that color. That is so pretty. Then we have Toying Around. It's that one there. I actually really like that color. Do I have anything similar to it that I've already kept though? I'm just gonna compare it to Make Me Gorgeous, which is one of the ones I have kept. Yeah, it's very similar to Make Me Gorgeous, so I'm gonna miss 
um, I'm just gonna skip out on that one. I'm gonna donate Twing Around. Next up we have Only You. Oh my gosh, this looks so pretty. What collection is this? Ellie Golding? That's so pretty! That's a nude obviously, but that is staying right in my drawer. <laughs> I need to finish off the pinks and stuff first before I go into the nudes though. Um, so, we've got Saint Germain and Raspberry Swirl, which is so similar. Saint Germain, as you guys know, used to be one of my holy grails. I've been through a few of these tubes. So I've got a couple in there. Honestly, like, I would never wear this colour anymore. I don't know how I used to pull it off. I feel like if I put this on my face now, it would look so ugly. And Raspberry Swirl is so similar. I'm going to get rid of both of them. It's the end of an era. And I'm going to break your guys' hearts by saying that. We have Creme de la Femme, which is a frost. So Prob's not going to like that. I mean, that is really pretty actually, but I'll never wear it. <laughs> this one here is Viva Glam Gaga. Oh my god, iconic. Do you guys remember? This is like so old. I'm just going to keep it for the lols. Like I'll probably never wear it, but hey, I can do another declutter, you know, in a few more months. <laughs> Next we've got Sweet Experience, which I've used a lot of. Like, well not a lot, but I mean, I've actually like used quite a bit, bit of this compared to the other MAC lipsticks. Most of these are like untouched. Um, so I'm going to keep that. I love that colour. That's actually beautiful. Next up is a cream sheen in Little Buddha, which is the cutest name ever. Oh my gosh, I'm keeping it. I love it. It's like a warm pink. So was I going to keep this colour, Salon Rouge? No, I'm just going to get rid of it because I've got heaps of other reds in here. Sunny Soul, spelt like Korea Soul. It's very similar to the other shade except a little bit more muted so I'm just going to donate that one. Actually, you know what? This colour reminds me so much of Meraki by XO Beauty. Let me see. Meraki is just a little bit more peach than pink. Look at that. Very similar. But hey, I'm still going to keep it because I love that colour. <laughs> Next up is the shade Flamingo which is a luster. Yes, luster. So... That's a really nice sheer colour. I said I was going to get rid of my sheer MAC lipsticks, but I love that. I actually really like that. Next, we have Costa Chic. Oh my god, throwback. It's a frost formula, which I did not even know that. Where can I swatch this? I'm going to keep it. Okay, next up, we're going to do... Oh, Sunny Soul again, so we can donate that one. Then we've got Coral Bliss. Oh my gosh, this used to be one of my favourite shades too. My hand's getting so discoloured. <laughs> But that's what it looks like there. I'm going to keep it. It's kind of manky anyway, so there's no point donating it. Anything that's not like in near new condition, I don't really donate, obviously. Because it just needs to be easily sanitized. Um, so they can actually use it on people and everything. Then we've got Tokyo Tizzy, which is a cream sheen. This is a hard out orange. Oh, I really like that. I'm going to keep it. Super yellowy orange. Then we have here. Sushi Kiss. Oh my gosh, that's so similar again, but I want it. So I'm going to keep it. We have Tumble Dry, which is a luster. Um, I'm going to donate that one. It's similar to the other two. And then we have Sweet and Sour. I know I used to love this one too. This one's also melted. Usually the ones that are melted are ones that have been in like in my handbag or something. It's very similar to Coral Bliss. I might actually keep that instead of Coral Bliss and just throw away Coral Bliss. Next up we have another luster. This one's called Pure Vanity. I'm going to donate that. It's pretty much like a nude, but you can barely see it. Next up is Koi Coral, which is a cream sheen. I'm going to donate that, because otherwise I'm going to end up with a million colours that look the same. Next is another Coral Bliss, which I should be able to donate that one. And another Coral Bliss. You can tell I loved it. Okay. Next we have Passion Charge. I'm going to donate that. Then we have Nippin, which is a cream sheen. Beautiful colour, but I'm going to donate it. Then we have Margarita, which is a matte. Oh my gosh, love. Then we have Costa Chic, which is a frost. I think we've already kept Costa Chic, haven't we? Yes, we have. So we'll donate that Costa Chic. We also have Real Sexy, which is an amplified. I feel like, did we already swatch this? I can't remember. Oh my god, I love it. What does it look like compared to this one? No, it's different. Keeping it. Coral Bliss again. Why? Why so many? We've got Flamingo, which is so melted. Look how ugly that is. Oh my god. Okay. And that is a creamy pink. Kind of reminds me of Elysian by Beauty. I'm going to get rid of that. That needs to be binned. It's so like 
crap. <laughs> so melted. Um, next we have another Coral Bliss. Wow. We have Sag and Summer. Did we already swatch this? I feel like we did. It's like a super yellow orange. Beautiful color. I feel like we kept it already. Okay, maybe not, but I'm gonna... Do I want it? I'm just gonna compare it to Tokyo Tizzy and see which one I like better. I think I'll keep Tokyo Tizzy. It's a little bit more wearable, less bright. A little bit more muted. Then we have Riot House, which is a matte. That's so nice. I feel like it's not very wearable, but I'm going to keep it anyway and give it a go. And then we have Tangerine Dream, which is a luster. Oh my gosh, that's super yellow. I'm going to mm, donate it. Okay, next we have Angel, which is another throwback cult favorite back from like 2012. Oh my gosh, I'm going to keep that. Muted wearable pink. And then we have Love Lawn, which is a luster. I'm gonna donate that one. This one here is called Hoop and it is a satin. Beautiful. I'm gonna keep it. And then this is Snob, which used to be one of my all-time favorite pinks. It's a very cool tone pink, so I'm gonna keep that too. It's a lot more purplish than um Angel. And then in here we have Catty, which is a luster. Very similar to Angel, except a little bit lighter. So I'm going to donate it. We have the Nicki Minaj, the pink print. Which is similar to Angel. So I'm going to keep this one and get rid of Angel. We have a way more used snob right here. So I'm going to keep this one and get rid of the, the newest snob. This shade here is called Giddy. And it looks like a more peachy pink by the looks of it. Beautiful colour but very similar to those other ones. So I don't really need it. Next up is Myself. And this is a luster as well. I'm gonna donate it. This shade here is called Fanfare Cream Sheen. Such a nice color, but I like that one better. This shade here is called Ginger Rose. I'm gonna donate it. I don't like lipsticks in this shape. I don't know why. Well, I don't not like them, but I find them harder to use. Who knows why? It's just how it is. Um, next we have Ravishing, which is a cream sheen. So we're getting more like warm toned again. I actually love that shade so I'm going to keep it. And then we have CB96 which is a frost. I'm going to donate that. I can already tell I won't like it. Meltdown which is a frost. Um, kind of sexy which is a little bit more muted. going to keep it. This one here is Razzle Dazzler. Oh my gosh that's so pretty. There it is just there. It's more of a creamy finish. Very similar to Ravishing. So I'm going to get rid of Ravishing and keep Razzle Dazzler. Here we've got Sweet and Sour, another old favorite of mine. Where am I even swatching these? Like I'm running out of room again. It's a really pretty color. I don't think I need it. This shade here is called like Peach Blossom. It's a creamy finish. It's a cream sheen. I'm gonna get rid of it. Next up is a Viva Glam 2 Satin. Hmm. I'm gonna donate it. I like it though, but I'm just trying to think of other colors I'm gonna keep. I don't know. I'm just gonna re-swatch Photo, which is the one that I was in love with, but I was like, oh, I just want to check what other colors we have. So it's like a brownish color from the beginning. You know what? I'm definitely gonna keep that because all these colors are definitely much lighter. This one here is called Sis, which is a really unique like beige. I'm gonna keep that just because I don't really think I have much like that. Um, next we have Bagariri. This is old as. I'm gonna keep that too. I like it. And then we've got Honey Love, which is another kind of beige. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty too. Why do I never wear these colors? I don't know. We have Kiss the King, which is a luster. I don't think I'm going to like this. Nah. And then we have Pillow Talk, which is another like brownish nude. I'm going to get rid of that one just because the other ones I like better. And then this one here is called Self Aware. It's an Amplified, which is very similar to the other colors. So I'll get rid of that one. And then this is Hug Me, which I have obviously used a lot and it's semi-melted. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> this shade here is called the Smoked Almond Lip Tensity. Again, I'm not a huge fan of the style of um, lipstick, but if it's a brilliant color, I'll keep it. I don't know. I like it though. It's a nice color, but I'll just give it a miss. This one here is called Well Bred Brown. Beautiful color, but similar to some of those other ones. Okay, I'm just going to go through the nudes. 
Um, and then we'll go through all of the ones with the caps, like I said at the beginning. Um, so this one here is Pure Zen Cream Machine. Oh my god, this is like one of my favourite nudes. Love it. Pretty sure I've got a few of them. This one here is called Shy Girl. Kind of similar to some of those other ones, so we'll get rid of that. Then we have Pure Decoration, which looks pale AF. Holy crap. Yeah, that's pale. Get rid of that. We have Meth, which I'm going to keep a Meth, just because it's Meth. Classic Meth. <laughs> One of my old favorites. Um, I think I've got a few of them in here somewhere, but we'll find them. This is the Cinderella lipstick in Royal Bell. Haven't even touched this. It's very sheer. Pretty, but very pale. I'm gonna get rid of it. Next up is Fleur de Coral. Did I already swatch this? Luster. Beautiful nude, but I don't think I need it. I don't think I need a lot of these nudes. This one is Japanese Maple. Don't need it. This one is Shanghai Spice, which is a cream machine. Don't need it. <laughs> I love all of these colors so much. This is paining me, but I'm like, I can't keep this many nudes. Oh my gosh. This one's Yash, which looks very similar to... Did I already swatch this? No, I keep Sis. It's kind of similar to Sis, I think. This is Sis. But I'm going to keep Sis because it's more unique. Next up, we have Flare for Finery. Which is a really pale nude once again. Hopefully you guys can see my swatches. I keep forgetting to look at the camera when I'm doing them. And keep it clean. Donate that. Next up is Pure Zen again. We have Pure Vanity. Beautiful pale peachy colour. Don't need it though. <laughs> look at this. This is Plain Koi which was my all time favourite. <laughs> I feel like I should just keep this for the logs. Look how pale this is. Oh my goodness. It's still going strong though. Still smells fine, applies fine. I'm gonna keep that, just for the lols. Next we have Cream Cup, which again is another like cult favorite. It's a little bit darker than that other one. Um, should I keep it? I don't think I need to keep it. I was very, I was definitely considering it, but I don't think I need it. Okay, there's another myth. And there is Flesh Pot. Oh my gosh, I used to love this one too. I'm gonna keep Flesh Pot, I think. Wait, let me compare it to Myth. Myth's more like beige. Nah, I'm gonna keep, hmm. You know what, I've kept playing Koi, which is very similar to Flesh Pot, just lighter, so I'm gonna get rid of Flesh Pot. We have Blankety, which is an amplified formula. Love the color, but don't think I need it. Next up, we have another Pure Zen. Um, we've got another Playing Koi. Oh my gosh, what? Another Playing Koi? <laughs> we have French Twist, which is a luster. Mm, don't need it. Next up, we have Fraser Butterfly from the Cinderella Collection, which is a luster. Oh, that's like clear. Nope. We have How Tropical, which is a cream machine. Actually, you know what? I feel like the wrist swatches are not easy to do on this angle. So How Tropical will do on my hand as well. I feel like I've got other ones like that. S&M V2 WN. It looks like that. I'm going to get rid of it. Love the packaging. Um, and then we have Strip Poker. Don't think I need it, hey? And then we have... Peach Blossom. I feel like I've swatched this, have I? Don't need it. We have Real Redhead, which is another luster. Don't need it. Holy crap, you should see the pile of the ones I'm donating, you guys. It's crazy. Although I need to go through them and just get rid of the ones that are like full on melted and stuff, because I'm not donating those ones. This one here is called Soft for Flavor. It's another luster, so I already know I'm not gonna really like it that much. And then this one here. That chick. Oh, who's that chick? The Rihanna Collection. I'm going to donate it. Okay, now I'm going to go through all of these and open up the caps and try them on my hand. And the colors are going to be all over the place. I'm not going to really do them in order because I can't be bothered going through and like organizing them. This one here is the Viva Glam Ariana Grande, which is the dark one. Hmm. Beautiful color, but I think it's similar to some of those other ones I kept. Next we have Darling. This is the Mariah Carey. It's very similar to playing Koi, just more of a creamy formula, I think. Then we have All I Want, which is a frost, so I'm gonna get rid of that, even though it's stunning. Lipstick McKizzle. Mmm, don't really like it that much. We have Metallic Foiled Rose. Okay, most of these are gonna be at nose because I don't always go for metallics. Even though some of these look so cool. We have Pale Rose Metallic. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. It's like a rose gold. Look at that. I might keep this one. It could come in handy for one of my series. So I'm just going to swap the lid over. We have Metallic Royal Hour. Oh my gosh. 
It's like an amethyst kind of colour. I'm gonna swatch it. Whoa. Um, I'm gonna do... Yep, get rid of it. Metallic Hades Fire. Is that how you say it? That's such a cool colour. If there was a metallic I was gonna wear, it'd probably be that one, but I'm still gonna donate it because I probably still won't reach for it that often. Um, I'm trying to get real cut through it now because I've kept a lot. Coral Optics. This is another metallic. It's a really cool colour. Oh my gosh. I kind of want to keep it, but I don't know. Nah, I'll donate it. Patisserie Luster Lipstick. I'm going to donate that. Jupiter, which is a metallic. Oh my gosh, that's like a bronze metallic colour. I'm not going to wear that though. And then we've got Metalwork Metallic. Whoa. I just really want to swatch this. Where can I swatch it? It's like a white gold. Like you can barely... This angle is so weird. You can barely see it. Next we have Chili, which is a matte, which I think I already swatched. We have Bosom Friend Cream Machine. Oh my gosh, that's pale. Oh, quite like it. But I think I won't wear it. It's too pale. Next we have Doo-Wop Brook um, Candy Collection. I don't think I'll wear that. Love the packaging. And then this one's Whirl. Oh my god. It just fell out. Love it. First Bite, which is a bright pink. Mmm, donating. This one is called Pearly One. It's a metallic. It's like a white metallic. Will not wear that. Um, this one's Cold Front, which is another metallic, which is a cool as lilac colour. Oh my gosh, I feel like it would make me look dead. <laughs> Cream in your coffee. Mmm, gonna donate it. This one's a gloss, as you can clearly tell, so I'm just gonna donate that. I don't really go for gloss very often. Let me go through all my glosses. Oh my gosh, it never ends. Okay, this one here, Makeup Art Cosmetics, James Kaleidos, Spring Summer 2017, Paramount Version 1. Beautiful, deep brownish warm colour, but I'm going to del delete it. I literally just I'm going to delete it. Declutter. This one here is called Pure Vanity, which I already swatched. This one's Sushi Kiss, which I've already swa swatched. I'm getting all tongue-tied now. Um, bit of Bubbly. Hmm, it's like nothing. Metallic loves a gamble. Oh my gosh, this color actually looks decent. Let me swatch it. It's quite fun. I'm going to keep that one. Once again, swapping out the lid. This shade here is called Rose Dipped and it is again a metallic. I'm going to donate that one. This one here is a metallic in Disobedient. Oh my gosh, that's dark. I'm going to donate that. Um, we've got Riot House, which is a matte. Oh my gosh. It's like a bright pastel orangey nude colour. I'm going to donate it. Playing Koi again. How many Playing Koi's did I need? Instigator, which is a matte deep colour. I'm going to donate that. I'm just going through heaps of these real quick now because I've already got heaps of colours that I'll ever need. This is called In Lust, which I'll donate. This one here is called a more Prohibito. I think Glaze Lipstick, which... I don't really like the glaze. Give in amplified. Oh my gosh, I really like that color. I didn't think I would. Next up we've got Wild Nectar, which is another metallic deep purple. So I'll donate that one. We've got ionized iris. Oh my gosh, that's bright. It's a metallic. Um, I'll donate it. And then we have Really Me which is a matte, which is like a grey kind of taupish nude colour. Do I want it? I kind of want it. I'm going to keep it. Next up is Anything at Once Metallic. Holy, that's cool. It's like blue, purple, metallic all at once. I'm going to go through these lipsticks and find some of these crazy colours that I'm not going to wear and give them to my hair salon because they all always do competitions and don't know where to get like real crazy lipsticks from so I think this will help them out. Next up I have Sweet Venom which is a matte. Oh my gosh that looks pretty. I'm gonna keep that because I haven't kept anything like that yet. This one reminds me of Meraki as well just a bit darker. Holy crap look at this. This is pink you think which is a frost. 
Oh my god, it's so bright. Okay, I'm not gonna wear that ever. Next up is Retro Matte Relentlessly Red, which I already kept, I think. I think that's all of the regular lipsticks done. Now we've got it. Oh no, there's one here. This one is called Invite Intrigue, which is a matte. Ooh. Ooh. Is it? Oh, it's kind of similar to Girl About Town. But a bit brighter. I might donate it. I really like it though. Just pulling out all of the rest of the MAC lipsticks. And we'll go through all of these. You thought it was over. <laughs> Holy crap. Well, I thought it was over. I didn't realise I had so many left. I'm actually just not going to have any fake tan left on my hand after this. Like seriously, you can already see like where my fake tan's kind of ending. Okay, so these ones here are the... I can't remember what they're called. Are they the mineralized or are these the mineralized? No, these are the mineralized. I can't remember which ones these are, like this weird packaging. I'm just gonna have a quick glance at most of them. I think I might just end up donating all these ones because I never reach for them. And the colors all look quite similar to the other ones. So yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of all these. Okay, this is like a really dark color too. Ooh, what's this one? This one here is called Pink Fringe, which is a satin. I'm thinking it's kind of similar to Little Buddha. I'm just going to swatch Little Buddha next to it. Yeah, it's very similar, just a little bit less peach, but I don't think I need it. I love the color though. That's a cool color that's unique. This is called Wood Rose. Uh, no, actually, I've got other ones like that. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Okay. I'm just kind of going fast through the limited edition because I don't think I'm going to keep most of these. Oh my gosh, that's cool though. What's this called? Darling Clementine, although I've kept so many oranges. It sounds like I'm throwing my lipsticks, but I promise I'm not. There's just like a huge pile of them. So they're all clattering against each other every time I put one down. Retro Rouge, what's this? Oh, I love that. That's staying. Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of these. Cause yeah, I don't usually use that shape. And I used to have some of these ones which I would rave about, but again, like I just don't really use this shape very often. These are the Pro Longwears and the Sheen Supremes. You know what? I'm just gonna donate all of these ones. And then the mineralized. Yeah, I'm just gonna donate all of these. Wow, there were so many. Oh wait, there's a couple more MAC ones at the back here. What are these? Slimline ones. No, we'll get rid of them. Okay, so now I'm going to organize these into this section here um, and do it kind of in like, you know, in order. It really annoys me that they don't fit into like a perfect square. <laughs> But anyways, I think that is a drastic uh, improvement on how many I had before. Or the opposite of improvement if you are like crying at the fact that I'm throwing out so many MAC lipsticks. I'm not throwing them out, you know what I mean? So out of all of those I kept, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there's 60 here, I believe, if my calculations are correct. And I started out with... I think at least about 350 or so because both of these trays because both of these trays were stacked and then there were a ton just lying around as well so I think that's a very good improvement I hope you guys enjoyed this declutter video let me know if I made any mistakes and you think that I threw out some colors that I definitely should have kept like which ones were your favorite let me know what your favorite MAC lipstick is down below as well I would love to hear from you so once again all of the leftovers any that are like pretty well used will be going to my friends family and then any new ones that are quite nice wearable shades I'm going to donate to look good feel better and then any that are pretty new and are really crazy colors, like super crazy colors, I think I'm going to give them to my hair salon so that they can use them for their photo shoots and stuff. Because at least then they'll be really useful. I'm not sure if the charities will want super bright crazy colors. Although I have donated some crazy lip colors like matte liquid lipsticks in the past. But anyways. And then next time we need to declutter all of them. Um, all of them and like all of the ones on the ground that I took out from just there. Um, yeah, I've got so many more lipsticks I need to declutter. And then I've got all of the ones down under there as well. And all my liquid ones that I showed you guys in one of my recent declutting. Decluttings? I can't even talk anymore. Recent declutterings. Like, there's just so many lipsticks. So, I've got plenty of space in here now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, these lipsticks here will go to some lovely new homes. Um, any of the ones that I did not swatch whatsoever, I might even put into my giveaway pile, which I still have not done giveaways in ages. I'm so sorry. I literally have two suitcases. Like, I'm serious, suitcases full of makeup, 
for you guys. So stay tuned for giveaways also. I do need to do some of them. Don't mind this. I just chucked that lot on there for now because I took the lot off my one. Anyways, irrelevant. Thank you guys so much for watching once again and I will talk to you guys again really soon. Bye!